health is global. So we cannot really confine it to one state, to one country. So we have to collaborate. And Blueprint is sort of contributing to solving different health issues. Blueprint is not working in isolation on its own, but is part of a, of a bigger international uh, consortium, which is called IHEC, International Human Epigenome Consortium. And Blueprint is now, uh, I would say, one of the major players in, in this field. Uh, we were not the originators of the field, but we are now a main player and have a, a very strong strategic, but also a scientific role. Personally, I think it's very important for every part of the world to have a major stake in the development of this information. Europe has stepped up to the plate uh, along with some of the other major uh, countries and continents. And I think Europe will be very proud of its contribution. You gather a lot of data and now people have to exchange the data and they have to jointly understand and interpret data. And, and this means that you have to uh, develop a new language of communication that you didn't have in the beginning. So in the beginning, everybody thought, oh, this is my task, this is my task, this is my task. Wonderful. But if you bring people together, they suddenly realize that communicating what they found out is something really challenging, even for a scientist. And since Blueprint is really interdisciplinary, it's a real challenge. But it's a good one, and we learned a lot, and we learned a lot from other people, and uh, I think it's a, it's a beautiful example of showing how integrated science can work in Europe. Two-thirds of the data that were released right now um, are due to Blueprint, so it is really, really important. And we are proud as Europeans to see that we are at the forefront. IHEC started the generation of a big database where now all the data from all epigenetic work is combined within uh, that network and can be retrieved from that database by partners but also by the outside world who want to make use of that data. One of the principles of uh, Blueprint is that the information should be publicly accessible. Uh, industry can access it and other institutions and other trainees in developing in other countries can access it and do. A lot of uh, the progress is actually comes from making use of the information long after the information itself has been generated. The pharmaceutical industry is extremely interested in the output of this project. I know that for at least two reasons. One, there's been a growing network of pharma participants in the project. Secondly, a few months ago, we organized a conference in Oxford in partnership with Blueprint. And we had nearly 300 people attending. Many of them were from the pharmaceutical industry and they absolutely loved it. The feedback we had was probably the best conference they've been to. They enjoyed learning about some of the new innovations in the project. They literally were soaking up all this knowledge and data that's been generated by the Blueprint project. Now what they're going to do is they're going to take some of that data, take some of the tools that have been generated, some of the platforms that have been generated. Now they're going to do what they're good at, and that is, of course, taking some of these ideas, these targets, these proteins, and then generating a potent selective molecule that we can take into patients, which will hopefully eventually become a drug for thousands of patients across the world. <laughs>